Hello and welcome back to No Man's Sky. This is Alon Paul. We're doing our regular playthrough. This is going to be episode three. And we are going to continue with our, of course, our uh, mission that we've just been given. We're going to be searching out this site that it keeps directing us to over here. Again, about 37 minutes away. Uh, walking time, of course. We're going to be taking our ship. But we've got a bunch of other things we're going to be doing. So let's go ahead and get started and uh, get moving along here and see where we end up with this storyline. Okay, so we are stranded still. We still are in this one system. Really cool system we're in here. Look at that sky. It is really cool. All right. So let's head over this way and see how far away it actually is. Let's see how far. Ah, 53 seconds. Now, you do have the ability to adjust some settings on your ship. Uh, one of them adjusts your power. So if you look inside your ship on the left-hand side, you see... Uh, how it has the uh, coordinates over there. Now I have a special hotkey set up on my mouse that if I hit the button one time, it switches power to weapons, making them a little stronger. Okay, hit it a second time, it diverts it to engines. Third time to shields, and then fourth time rebalances everything out. So I'm gonna go with engines. This is what I wanna do. Power control is now diverted to engines. So to give you an idea, let me show you real quick. I'm gonna go back to balance, watch the speed on my thing here. 166, 167. If I go to engines, see it boosts it to 220, so you get places a little bit quicker. <clears throat> so it's a little something you can try doing. Power balancing, I think it's called. Could be. Ah, so this spot it's taking us to is an approximate location. Pretty sure we know where we're going, right? Looks like we can go to the it's busted up freighter. Let's go ahead and come in for a landing. There we go. All right, it's the ship, and it wants us to check out this com, uh, not com ball, it's uh, actually um, the Wings of the Anomaly Freighter Terminals, what this is. This is like a black box. Log damage, partial records available. The signal has led me to the wreck of a freighter, colossal fragments of metal scattered across the landscape. Were these messages nothing but the misfiring circuits of a long-forgotten ruin? Nestled among the debris, I find the pilot's log, blinking, awaiting input. Requested. Instead of displaying the ship's log, the terminal spits out a strange sequence of numbers. They are followed by a short message. The anomaly comes for the stars. Take flight. A schematic for a hyperdrive is attached to the end of the message. Take the blueprint. I pulled the blueprint from the computer, but this hyperdrive blueprint is for a conventional starship, not a freighter of this size. Someone placed this here after the crash, hoping it would be found. And there it is. So you need chromatic metal and five microprocessors. Um, so we have to actually gather all those things. So let's we'll see how that goes. All right, let's get out of this. All right. Now while we're here, we got some things we can gather up. These freighters have some nice treasures you can get. Sometimes they're worth a lot, sometimes not. Break down these doors to get the two above ground cargo containers. Now. Just a, a little tidbit of information here. These cargo containers, once you open them, they release um, radiation. So you want to get them away from them as quickly as you can or else you'll be damaged. So let's go ahead into this one. We're going to remove the viscous fluids and the living slime. You can keep it if you want, but I'm just going to get rid of it. And then it opens. And we got some nanites. But you notice see the radiation? Just get away from it. <clears throat> Let's go to the next one. There's one over here in this particular doorway. There's three more after this, and I'll show you where they are. Four more. Pardon me. Four more after this. And it's probably just going to give us nanites, but it may occasionally give us something nice. Yep, 20 more nanites. Still, not bad. Alright. The next one is located over here. If you use your visor, you look down, you're going to see that there's one under the ground over here. There's also one right there. There's another one over there near our ship, and then finally one more right over here outside the freighter that got thrown a, a little ways away, but they're all underground. Okay, a couple different ways you can do this. You can go to your terrain manipulator, clear away the ground to reveal this area here. There we go, you see the broken panel right there? Switch back to your mining beam, and then you can see the corner of the crater right there, uh, the craft crater, cargo container right there. Clear it away. And you see, you've revealed the crater. 
uh, the cargo container. I keep saying that. I don't know why. Okay. Again, same process. Just go in there. Remove. Ah, we got some launch fuel. See, that's handy and expensive. Now, this one is the same kind of process. The panel is right here at the surface. I didn't want my bolt caster, but that's okay. All right, there we go. And you can dig down if you wish, but most of the time, if you go into your first person view, let me see if this works. I'm actually going to set my first person view. Here it is in my settings. To spot number two. I always like to do that. Occasionally, you can get it to register. There we go. And you don't have to dig. But it's a bit of an awkward thing if you're used to being in third person. See? Just get away from it. Good golly, we didn't get damaged by the radiation, but we did break our ankles. Uh, let's get back out of the first person view. Yeah, not worried about that. Let's go over here. Let's grab this one. Now, this one is right there. I don't know if we can get it anymore through first person view. Let me just, let me go ahead and look for it real quick. We're going to highlight it and see if we can get it by standing over it. Yep, it won't let us do that anymore. So that has been nerfed as well, so you will have to dig down a little bit. There we go. Wide setting. Okay. And now we can access it. Uh, Starship launch fuel again. Very handy. I don't mind the Starship launch fuel this early game. If it was later in the game, it would be another story. So the last one is over on the other side of these, uh, this little corner right here. And if you look, you should see it right there. Highlight it so you can find it a little better. And... It's a little bit deeper than the rest. There you go, see? Just get close enough that you can get to it like that, so you can get away a little bit easier. And what do we get from this one? Multi-tool expansion slot. Nice! So see, that's handy. I'm going to show you something you can do with that later. Hopefully I remember to show it to you. Alright, so we're done. Done with the uh, crater, so let's go ahead and get out of here. So where is it taking us? It tells us to install the hyperdrive, and we're going to do a little boogie there, obviously. Um, let's go ahead and install that. So the hyperdrive we can put anywhere we want. You see we have one of these upgrades that we dropped in here. I'm going to put the hyperdrive upgrade right above it for now. I need chromatic metal and microprocessors. Just get it started. Okay. It's not ready to go yet. Obviously, I don't have enough materials. First thing I'm going to need is I'm going to need chromatic metal. I don't have a lot. I've got 120 on me. That's why I told you probably in an earlier episode, if you might remember, that I needed to get as much chromatic metal as I could. A couple different ways we can do it. We can purchase some, uh, we can purchase chromatic metal or can refine stuff. If we take a look around, uh, let's see. Copper deposit, 339 right over there. 428. So we got a couple copper deposits pretty close by. 716. That one up there. 267. That's handy. Okay, that's a lot closer by. Another one at 632 near a building, which we might want to check out. Um, so I'm going to actually go over there. I'm, I don't want to use my thrusters. I don't use them as I take off from this spot right here because you're on a landing pad. But yeah, I don't want to do that. My jetpack is not as good as I'm used to, so I have to be a little bit sparing with it. Oh, boy. I'm going to hop, skip, jump on the way up to this particular location. Choose the path of least resistance. And there it is. Okay, we don't need a bunch right now. We will need more later. Yeah, this is a terrible deposit. See how it's mixed in with a lot of the uh, silicate powder? Just go into a medium setting for your terrain manipulator. Uh, that is not a medium setting. And just grab as much as you can. Going into a small setting, you're not going to pull a lot of, of copper out of this deposit at all. It really doesn't make a difference. So just gather whatever you can. Occasionally, you'll get some more. But I'm just going to gather whatever I can right now, just so I have something, so it wasn't a waste of time coming here. Now, if you have navigation data, we can go ahead and Tom and Jerry our way over to that uh, other spot and get some more where the building was. And we can pull our ship in over there. Okay, let's see, where was it? It's a building over there. 
that's buried technology. I didn't the copper deposit. Okay, let's head for that because I'm curious as to the building. It's not far. It takes a couple moments. It would probably take us as long to pull in my ship, get in my ship, fly over there, then land. Plus, this gives us an opportunity to pick things up on the way. Like, for instance, words. And this guy. I found a plant that's sitting right there. I learned five words. Oh my gosh. Get some hazardous floor there. I'm going to go ahead and grab it. There we go. Alright. Back into here. Get what you can. This is early game. You might as well get everything you can while you go. What do we get? Nanites. Good. Okay, and there should be some buried tech nearby. Oh, is that... Buried cash. Oh, cool. Bolt caster module, huh? Hmm, we could sell it for nanites, or we can use it. Hmm, big decision. But there should be some buried tech here. There it is. Right there. Sometimes we can grab that. Nope, won't let us today. There we go. Now I can grab it. Okay, good. And it looked like there was some cash. In there. Yeah, look at that. I'll grab that. Because every now and then it might have a microprocessor. There we go. So we got our third one. We go ahead and ready to get rid of the rusted metal this time. And a second one. Holy crap, we got four of them now. <laughs> so this wasn't too fruitless, I'd say. All right, so where are we headed? We're heading over here, right? That's where we're headed. So let's head that way. A little condensed carbon over there. I'll probably go ahead and grab that. Nope, can't grab that one yet. Can grab the little guys. Okay. More buried tech. Is this close to the surface? It is. Grab any, everything you can, man. There we go. Got 80 oxygen from him, and we're going to grab the rest of it. 95. Okay, good. Always nice to have that. And is this... Holy crap, we found ourselves a crashed ship. Well, I'll be. Boy, did we get lucky on this run. Good grief. Alright, what do we got? Uh, cockpit is pristine, devoid of damage, save for that... For that caused by the deceased pilot's impact against the control panel. Its data banks, however, look as if they could be brought back online. Lights intermittently flash around me. Some systems clearly remain operative, one of which appears to be a sophisticated security sensor and camera array. Okay. Okay, so security. Do, do we access ship's data banks or loot ship for functioning technology? I'm going to go for the looting, I think, because the accessing of the ship's data banks is probably going to Cause this to injure me. I think either one is going to give us injury, so let's just get number two. Discover useful tech. However, the ship has recorded my looting. Unable to erase the footage, I leave. We've got hazmat gaunts. Excellent. Those will come in handy later on. We'll show you what we can do with those. We need another... The standing is always going to drop, no matter what we did on that one, so... Okay. Got some items from that. Can we get one more microprocessor, and then we don't have to buy one? Oh, no, nope, jelly. This will not have a microprocessor, but it could have an upgrade. Or just nanites. Nanites it is. Alright, so let's go for this copper deposit that's supposedly right here. Um, what do you think? Think they lied to me? I think it was a lie. That does happen on occasion. Because of this crash ship, it uh, diverted our attention. So let's go ahead over here real quick. I forgot to do this. It's probably not much of a ship. It's an A-class, so it's worth something. And it does have a couple shield upgrades that we can use. Especially this S-class. That's pretty awesome. And it's only got this damage. So we need to repair this with a hermetic seal and metal plate. Let's go ahead and steal it. But the only thing is, is that we're going to lose our ship. So you know what we got to do? Let's pull in our ship. There we go. And then we're going to go ahead and repair this one while we're here. Okay. So let's go ahead and repair it real quick. We need 
Hermetic seal, metal plate. I just want to get that up to up into snuff so we can bring it in anywhere we want. Okay, good. And we're going to uninstall these. You see it says store technology. We're going to uninstall that. And we're going to go ahead and, since the C-class ones are really not that great, I'm going to go ahead, and you don't get many nanites when you, when you just store the technology and sell it, so I'm literally going to dismantle it. And you see it gave us 50 chromatic metal for that, so that's really, really cool. Um, we'll grab that, and we'll grab that. Why not? We'll grab it all. Good. Our inventory on our person is a little bit, um, yeah, full. So we'll sell this later. It'll be worth some money. Let's go back into this. This is our ship. Yep, I know. Yes, I know. I know. Yes, I know. Okay, great. All right, back out of the ship. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to start storing stuff in my ship. I'm going to put this in the ship. Let's get these in the ship real quick. We don't need to carry these on us. We're going to be installing that in our ship. That will give us the ability to do another life support shell. So I'll go ahead and do one or more of those. And I haven't decided whether I'm installing that yet or not. I'll just put that in my ship for now. We have enough chromatic metal to fix that portion of our ship to upgrade. We do have enough copper to make some more. So let's go ahead and get that moving along. Hold on. Got plenty of carbon. Uh, where's the copper at? There you are. Not bullets. Let's see how that would have worked, right? Let's get our 47. It's only going to take about 15 seconds. I do want to check out the building, though. I mean, this was supposed to be the building, but that was it. Yeah, it'd be a crash ship. Go figure, right? What are the chances? No other buildings near me, so we're good. Is that... No, it's an island. But that was a trader landing. Oh, we're done. Okay. So we're all set. Fantastic. Should have enough. Almost enough. See, four or five microprocessors. So let's put the chromatic metal in. We got that done. Um, where's the rest of my chromatic metal? There we go, 92. I'm going to put that in my ship now. <clears throat> this goes in my ship, too. Do we have any... Okay, good. All right, do we have anything buried nearby? Because that would be a good thing. What do we got? Cargo drop? Hmm. Let's head for the cargo drop. Take a look at it because maybe we can get our last microprocessor right now. Wouldn't that be cool? I think it would be cool. <laughs> there you go, right? Awesome. We got an ion battery out of that, too. Awesome. Since we're here, buried mineral formation, that could be worth some money, but I'm, I'm really interested in those data structures right there. I'm just going to check them out real quick because anytime you can find those early game, they're very, very handy. Sometimes they have upgrades in them. Oh, there's a big field of them too. A really big field of them. Okay, let's go ahead and grab some. Mostly it's going to be navigation data. There you go, exosuit upgrade. There we go. All right, good deal. So what did we end up with? Four upgrade charts? That is freaking awesome. And these things will come in handy too, so let's hang on to those. All right, good deal. Very, very nice. I'm happy about that. This was a great diversion. I'm glad we did it. And while we're here, of course, obviously, let's get this guy. Some more nanites, nice. And they should have some buried tech right next to it usually there we go I don't think we can grab it we're gonna have to use our brain manipulator there we go probably just two more yeah just two okay and uh, yeah we got to find a way back to our ship of course right my famous last words in every episode I've ever done where's my ship you have clicker, you can just hit the clicker and it'll go bloop bloop, and you can find it easier that way. I don't have much. And yes, I'm joking. Okay. Let's head towards it. Nothing really in between me and there, so supposedly it has copper there. We already know that that's an empty deposit. There we go. Downhill, always best. 
Alright, we're all set. Let's go ahead and install this. There we go. Now we'll kick us out. We keep the shield? I think we should keep the shield. What do you think? Let's uninstall this. And it gives us a little bit of shield strength. That's fine. But I'm going to uninstall it. I'm going to install this one. Because it's not worth much in its current state. And we can shift it from ship to ship. Plus it gives us a 30% shield. So that's awesome. Uh, let's move some stuff over to our ship. We're going to move our salvage data over. Um, we're going to keep the crystal sulfide and our exosuit upgrade charts. We're going to move them over to our ship. Make some more room in our main inventory here. Excellent. And we're going to show you a little trick behind all these. All of these. This is going to be some fun. All right. Let's get going. Um, we need to go back to... See, it wants us to do the upgrades, right? But we're not worried about that right now. Go back to your primary mission. All right. All right, we need to hit C. See, search for antimatter traces with the star starship scanner. Uh, tuned to antimatter. Let's see. Let's see where we go. Oh, from orbit. Sorry, missed that part. Duh. All right, let's do it again. And there it is, on that planet, all the way over there. Why? Why? That's a long ways away. You know, if we were near our base, we could have just used the portal going to the space station. It is something we can do. How much money are we looking at so far? We're at three million. Um, why don't we go to the space station real quick, and we'll sell our other ship that we acquired. It's an A-class, yes, and that's always great. It's better than the ship I've got, obviously, in that sense. But it's got so much damage to it. It takes so many resources to repair it this early game. It's not worth it. Definitely not worth it. Now, as I've told many times in these episodes so far, these two episodes, this is not going to be that run that we do... Um, these playthroughs, it's, it's not a playthrough that I'm going to be doing anything like, uh, hey, there's no cheating, no glitching, and everything like that. We're going to show you everything that you can do. Um, in regards to actual um, acquiring of things, you see us acquiring things the old-fashioned way, so that's always great, but uh, I'm not going to worry... Oop, I'm on the other side. I'm on the back side of the space station here. We go to the front side. I'm going to show you how you want to try to be able to get the game. You can do it. You don't have to do the things I'm going to show you at all. Some of the glitching and the duping and things like that. But it's there and available to you if you need it. Especially once you get through the game one time, like you go through the entire main mission line. Once you're done with that and you decide, okay, I'm done with that now. I'm going to start doing it. You'll know how to do it. All right. So first things first. I need to bring in my other ship first. See? No other ships. There it is. We don't have anything else to dismantle from it, so we're going to head straight over here. And that's something that somebody recommended in another video. They said, hey, don't forget to. Yes, absolutely, don't forget to dismantle any technology on the ship. You get, obviously, product from it, and you can also find some useful tech that you can use in your current ship. So I'm going to begin salvage analysis. Now I'm going to claim scrap of two million. It's going to ask me, are you sure? Yes. Now, you don't get credits. You get stuff. And again, this is one of those situations where I'm going to hang on to these things here. Now, we got some nice upgrades. They're A-class. They're worth 300 apiece in nanites. But you know what? I'm going to hang on to them. They're free. So I'm going to put them in my current starship. And I'm going to actually use them in my starship. I may have to uninstall some at an occasion, but that's okay. So this is my pulse engine upgrade. This will give me more boost to my engine, make it a little more powerful possibly more if you look at the at the top right you can see uh, uh, maneuverability so let's see what happens ah see increased my maneuverability so that's good too by six percent made fuel efficiency at 16 percent more so that's great uh, we do have a shield in here and I'm running out of room to put stuff so uh, we may not be able to do that but we'll see hyperdrive a class let's see our hyperdrive range is right now 163 342 look at that See, putting it down here is actually better. 347. So having it linked to the main one and putting this one next to it to support it is better. See? Doesn't always make it better that way. So, 
That's really great. We got a nice boost of range out of that. Uh, should we use the shield? I think we're going to hold off on that. I think I'm going to sell that one. I could install it and uninstall it for stuff. You know, that might be better. As much as I need the nanites. Yeah, let's do that. Because if we install it, even though our shields went up, we get chromatic metal out of that. See? We got 50 chromatic metal and another wiring loom, which is a very handy. These are expensive. So getting them is really, really handy. So I'm going to do that. Okay. So we're good to go here. Okay. Off to our ship and the rest of our mission here. Now we're going to do the mission for another like 10 or 15 minutes tops, and then I'm going to show you the, the one of the duplication glitches. Very, very handy for all of you. And it's something that's been available forever and has never been nerfed. And I think it's been left in purposely by Hello Games to be able to, for everybody to be able to do. Okay, so here we are. Any amount of traces up here. If you stay up higher in the atmosphere, you can go a little quicker. Because you called in your ship, you do have to realign your power. All right, and as we come in, it says approximate, I think, right? So it might be this location here. Let's see what happens. I don't think this has a landing spot. Looks like an abandoned. Yeah, it is. Let's see. Could be wrong. It is. It is. This is the building. Okay, good. So while we're here, we're going to grab this. Okay, health is at maximum. That. I think it was found. This. Because you never know when you might get a microprocessor. The hydrogen jelly. Also handy. We'll grab the save chart. There we go. Got to do that the last one. Whispering eggs. Whispering eggs. Always a great resource for nanites or for cash, depending upon what you're looking for. We'll do that in a moment. Oh, hazardous floor. Let's go ahead and grab that. Uh, gotta aim, like, weird spot for the, getting these. There you go. That way we're not constantly slapped by it while we're in here. Okay, let's see what our story has to tell us. Terminal online, selecting key, decrypting. Success. The terminal is clogged with an unnerving, pulsating slime. Nevertheless, it appears to function. As I touch the input panel, panel, the alien substance reacts violently. I make a note to avoid getting closer. The device opens, revealing a single unblinking crimson eye. It prints out a blueprint for antimatter, accompanied by a strange message. Take the blueprint, leave, read the log. You will find us when the time is right. Six, and a whole bunch of 16s. All right, so antimatter. Okay, so now we have the recipe for it, and we can make antimatter to go into hyperspace. Congratulations, right? While we're in here... Got a microprocessor out of it, see? Ammunition. More nanites. This will bring up our... Increasing, increasing our standing with the Corvax. This will restore our shield, which we don't need to do. Go to the other end of the building, check the ceiling real quick. Alright, let's get more of this. Okay, that restores our shield. Uh, I mean, our first aid. We, we're already at full strength, so we don't need to do that. Same thing with those two. So we don't need those. And that gives us cash. There we go. Not much. See? Not bad. About 1700, so that's pretty good. And we can go right out the door here. There's nothing more to see here. Okay, good. Eggs! Whispering eggs. I don't think I've done this in a previous ep episode, but these are very, very valuable. But by getting them, you will trigger the horrors from underneath to come up out of the ground. You may have seen that in the expeditions if you haven't done it yourself. So we're going to go ahead and try to get them. Okay? But the key is, don't fight the horrors. Just keep moving. So you see there's four eggs here. One, two, three, four. Okay? And just grab like one or two. One. Don't let them freak you out. They're going to run away at first, see? <clears throat> and just, just run. One. Two. Go to another spot. One. Two. Go to another spot. You see, they're kind of jumping behind me. One. Whoops, see? Excuse you. Excuse you. Pardon me. Two. And just keep going around and grabbing. They can hurt you. Yes, I know. Two. 
See? 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 Three. I'm just gonna keep going here. One. Two. And if you just do them two at a time, usually they won't bug you too much. Shield should restore in a moment. Two. Okay, go here. Should be two more. These are where I started. One. Two. Very handy to keep grabbing these. Make sure you have the inventory avail availability for it. One. Two. Whoops. Is that one? No, it is one. Alright, hello. Excuse me. Sorry, pardon me. Coming through. I don't need to know about that. See, they will keep jumping at you. And I might get damaged here, but that's okay. It's, it's, the purpose is, is to show you how to do this. Yeah, we'll fix that in a minute. Another one there. One there. Shield. Come on, shield. Go up. There we go. Sometimes they try to drop through the ground, so if you do them one at a time, you can get them a little, a little bit easier. I got them all from over here. Looks like I got one more here. Okay. And one there. You can get in your ship once you are done, if you wish. Down here. There. I hope there was one more. Okay. And any over here. I think that's it. Alright, let's jump up to the top of the building here. So we're out of the way of these guys. And if you take a look around, you'll see eggs nearby. I don't see any. So we got all of them. How many did we end up with? That looks like a lot. Wow, 27 of them. Good gravy. Okay, while we're here. There we go. And see, they'll try to spit at you from here, but they'll hit the building instead, so they're not going to do anything. And there's really no reason to take them out, unless you have a mission to do so, or something like that. And after a little while, the swarm will subside and dig themselves back into the ground. So now that you're safe. Now, you can do two things with these uh, these guys. You can put a portable refiner down, and you can... I'm going to do this with just a few real quick. Actually, got to charge that up, or else it's going to get mad at me. There we go. Uh, let's drop seven in here. And you're going to get 50 nanites per unit. So that's a really handy way of getting nanites. Or you can sell them at 700,000 each. Up to you what you want to do, to be honest with you. But for my sake, I am going to get the nanites. I don't mind the money. I'm not allergic to it, obviously. They go by really, really quick. There we go. Here's the other set. And there you go. Now, while we're here, we're going to show you a little trick. Okay, before we continue with the mission. I'm going to show you a little trick. So we got a we got a refiner here. You see they subsided, so you're, you're clear now. We're going to build two more of those. I need metal plates. I'm out of ferrite dust. Are you kidding me? All right, let's pick it up. Where is... Let's go ahead and get down from here. We don't need to be up here anymore. All right, our ship is over there. I need some rocks. Let me grab some rocks real quick. This is embarrassing. That's carbon. I need a rock. Yeah, I guess I should have saved the rusted metal. You're probably saying the same thing. I need a couple metal plates, so I'm going to keep this going. Oh, I did build a metal plate earlier. Fix a ship, so... I'm going to keep going. I'm going to show you this, and our episode is about to come to a conclusion here. It's early, at my reasons. Okay, let's get close to the ship, so at least we're over here. All right, so this is what the trick I was going to show you. This is a duplication glitch. You put a refiner down, don't put anything else in it, but what you want to duplicate. So don't put any fuel in. So let's say I want some exosuit upgrade charts. I got four of them. That's great, isn't it? If you drop them in here, I got four, right? And I'd put down another portable refiner. We need metal plates to do that. So let's make those two metal plates I was talking about. One and two. Okay. And now we can build two more refiners. We have plenty of oxygen. So you put them down. Try to put them down in about the exact same spot the other one is. One. And two. And then pick them up. As you can see, I now have 12 exosuit upgrade charts. 
What a great way to duplicate, isn't it? And you can do that with anything that's in your inventory. Like this thing is worth 1.8 million, right? For these two items. So I can do the same thing. And you basically have unlimited access to supplies and, and basically to money. So here we go, 1.8 million right here. And if I put in one, two, pick them up. Get six of them now. There you go. Six subatomic regulators, now worth five million. So you can do that with any item, including these upgrades, your storage augmentations. So and, and obviously salvage data too. You can do it with anything in your inventory. So you can get gobs and gobs and gobs of these. My suggestion is just hang on to a couple of them in case, in case you need them. I'm going to hang on to these for now. I'm going to hang on to that. Uh, put that over there. We're going to keep one on us at all times. We like to have one refiner on us at all times. And I'm going to make one more of these. Okay, good. All right, so we're done with that. So we now can create antimatter. So we'll go on with our main storyline. There we go, right there. 25 chromatic metal. You need to also create an antimatter housing, right? And then finally, the two combine to give you a warp cell. And we're just going to create the one for now. And we take that warp cell, charge our warp drive. It only gives us 25%. So we'll have to really create more of those. So if you want, see, I'm going to create three more. And three more of these. It takes ferrite dust. So I'm only going to probably be able to create more and more of these, I think. Yeah, I only can create one. We do need some ferrite dust. So let me let me get some more. I do want... Oh, good. Everything's right here, so I'm going to go ahead and collect these rocks while I'm here. We need at least a hundred. There we go. Let's see how much we got. Now, we did get a crystal. Good. Plenty now. All right, let's go ahead and get... One, two more of these, and we're going to create one, two, three. Drop them in. 100% charge. We're all set. So we're ready to go. Hyperdrive refueled. Launch into space. And we're going to do our first hyperdrive run. Okay. Ready? So it's telling us how to do it. we got warp cells. we got everything we need. Hyperdrive is upgraded and ready to go. So we're going to do our first... Looks like our thrusters need to be charged. There we go. And our pulse drive, too. Let me go ahead and do that real quick. Okay, good. Galaxy. So now we can go anywhere we want. There is no stopping us as to where we want to go. We can head towards the galactic core, or we can just choose a system nearby. I'm going to opt to choose a system nearby. Uh, and it will block you from going to certain systems. Like, I can go to this dissonant system and do some stuff if I want. Water, uh, anomalous. Okay, great. You can check your systems out. I'm not going to go to the dissonant system yet. Let's check this system out over here. That's a very interesting name for a system. I'm assuming someone's already been here. Let's find out. Eventually, we'll get out of this. There we go. Blinks its taillights at you real quick. <laughs> and there we go. Congratulations. We've dis This system was discovered by somebody else. Obviously, it looks like January 30th of 22. Very nice. Wait just a moment. There we go. Starship monitoring system reports error. Guidance system malfunction. Searching for other routes. Searching, searching, searching. Obtained. Destination in and hold a bunch of 16s. Accept new guidance. We're going to accept it, even though we don't really have much of a choice. Guidance accepted. Plotting route. Okay. It's telling us to go there. So we're going to go ahead and go there. It says fuel source. It's acting like your, your hyperdrive's out of uh, fuel. Because if you're doing the storyline and you're just paying attention, you probably only made one warp cell and dropped it in, and you probably are out of fuel. We're not. But, we're going with the storyline. 
All right, so this is our planet. It says approximate location. So as we come in, we come in a little lower. Again, we're going to increase our speed to our engine so we can come a little quicker. And we're going to scan. Is there anything here? It doesn't seem to be. So keep a close eye open. I think we're looking for a crashed ship. Maybe so. Let's go back to our main screen here and take a look. Oh, wait, 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 wait. No, we're not. That's what we're looking for. Monolith this time. Fascinating. Look at that one. All right, take a look. Yep, that's it. All right, let's go ahead and do this real quick. Whoops, whoops, past the stairwell. Uh, while you're here, one, hello. Oh, we got our Gek. All right, I'm not even going to bother reading any of that. You guys can read it later. It does the same thing on every planet. There we go. Every every new, new race that you get, it does that. And we get our three words of Gek. Probably going to get an achievement for having eight words. There it is. Yep, great, great, great. Gek Monolith. Structures unlike everything, anything I've encountered on my journey so far. Everything about it is so obviously alien, so obviously out of place. As I stare at it, words form themselves in my mind, a strange fragment of broken speech. Is it Traveler? Is it Friend? I'm going to say I'm a Traveler. Is it? It feels strange responding to questions I'm unsure that I am being asked, but something has clearly taken notice of my reply. I'm overwhelmed by a sense that something has awoken, that something, someone is watching me. It forms another question. Is it first? Is it last? I'm going to go first. I do not know how I'm being spoken to. The monolith is ancient, and I cannot escape the feeling it has asked these questions many times over. It asks again, have they seen the Crimson Eye? Has the Crimson Eye seen them? Both. Likelihood of anomaly exceeds safety parameters. Breach detected. Alert. Alert. The boundaries fall. The walls collapse. Your universe awaits. Find us, traveler. Whoa, dude. And we got a warp cell out of it. So that was nice. We're on a cold planet, so we're going to have to get moving here. All right, so that's where we're going to end this episode. We're going to find the mysterious messenger and make our way into space. I know exactly where we're going, and I think you know where I'm going, too. All right, so we're going to go ahead and get out of our ship. We have a restore point. I want to thank you all for watching. I know this is a shorter episode than usual. I have my reasons again for doing so. But we will continue in the next episode next week and see where we picked up and where we're going to be heading to. We obviously didn't do much with our base. So uh, we'll probably be doing that soon because we have some things to get done before we get there. All right, folks. Again, thank you for watching. Hit that like and subscribe button. Very neat little creature going past. And uh, take care, everybody. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.